because Kurt had said this earlier. You get bonus shouts out and uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll put your name somewhere out there on my social media, whoever comes up with the best chicken leg comments. Go ahead, give me your worst, I can take it. Hey guys, welcome to the Fall Octane Garage. Uh, today we're gonna look at something just a little bit different. Um, it's uh, not car related, but uh, this is Full Octane Garage, right? So that cover kind of covers the gamut. Uh, you know, I've always been a proponent of gasoline and gasoline powered engines and things that those engines go in. Uh, I think that Kurt and I have a history of demonstrating that that seems to be the way we go. But uh, I've been impressed by uh, some things in the last couple of years, Tesla, the new Taycan by Porsche, things of that nature. And so it made me go out and try something different. I had a need. I looked at my options and this is what I bought. Yes, I did it. I bought an electric lawnmower. Something I thought I would never consider, but then again, I thought I'd never consider an electric car before either. And I still haven't. <laughs> but uh, this is the Ego Power Mower. It is a 56 volt lithium powered lawnmower with a 21 inch deck. Uh, it's not self-propelled, it's, uh, it's a regular push mower. But the, uh, the battery, as you can see here on the workbench, powers this mower and it has a 45 minute run time and a charge time of what I have recorded as around 30 minutes to completely recharge the battery. So, uh, I don't know, it, uh, all of a sudden, things are starting to look up for electric mowers, right? If you look at the application that I've got, because I don't think a, an electric mower may, may not be right for everyone, but in my circumstance, which I think a lot of people's circumstances duplicate, is I live in a regular house in a uh, regular subdivision. My yard's probably a quarter of an acre or smaller and the house has got a big footprint with the driveway and the courtyard and all the way it sits. And so I don't have a very big yard. Uh, so I thought that this might be a good application for my uh, lawn mowing needs. I figured I could mow the yard in less than 45 minutes. And uh, so I gave it a run. And sure enough, I got it done under the original battery power. I did not have to charge it. But just out of curiosity, I did take the battery out and put it into the charger. It was under 25% according to the indicator. And it brought the battery up to a full charge in right at 30 minutes. I mean, completely blown away by that. What's very cool about this battery also is that it can be used in a... Jeez, thing's heavy. Ugh. It can be used in a number of different devices. They've got, I know they've got uh, lawn blowers and uh, leaf blowers and they have uh, electric trimmers. I think they've got a chainsaw, just a variety of devices that you could put this battery into. Charger is just a regular 110 volt charger. Uh, it sits up, it can be wall mounted, which I don't know, man, it's heavy, so. I'm probably just going to let it sit. Uh, the battery, I say it's heavy. The charger is not real heavy, but the battery is. I'll bet the battery weighs at least 10 pounds. Uh, but you merely just take the battery and you just drop it right into the charger. And the indicator lights up here at the top will tell you what the charge is on it. Let's take a look at a couple of the features of the mower itself. Uh, first impressions. Now, the last mower I had was a gasoline powered, I don't know, Briggs and Stratton, I guess, uh, John Deere mower. And to be honest with you, I got about six or seven years out of that mower before the deck started to disintegrate and the, uh, the self-propelled part didn't work. I'd replaced the wheels a few times. So generally it's like a Weber grill. I think the core of a mower like that will last a long time, but at some point in time, it gets to be a real pain in the butt to 
replace components and things as, as it starts to fall apart in the yard. Uh, this mower here is made primarily out of plastic, generally speaking. The battery compartment is completely sealed. Let me pull that open. That's where the battery goes. And it has uh, extendable handles on it. Uh, the deck has a uh, adjustable height and it's actually got a pretty good range of adjustable height on it also. Uh, I mowed today on the number four range, uh, but the number six range, take a look at it. You just pull the handle back, pull it back. As you can see, that's, <laughs> that's, that's like a five or six inch lift on there. Looks like something I did in my Jeep. But uh, yeah, so it's got uh, a lot of range as far as that's concerned. Okay guys, let's take a look at how all this works. Real quick, battery installation. Merely lift the top, drop it just like you do into the charger. There's a big button on the top and it'll click when it's in. That's it. Uh, starting it. What? It'll lower the blade just so I don't stick my foot underneath it. Um, starting. Push the start button. Push the green button. Pull the handle back. That's it. I don't want to run it much in the garage, but the. Uh, um, as you can see, it's not very loud. It's uh, quite a bit quieter than a regular mower, a gasoline mower. Uh, to remove the battery, just open the top again while the mower stopped and push the big button, lift the battery pack out. It's that easy. We'll put this mower into, this is the fully extended operation mode that you're in now. Basically, these arms have to be extended all the way up, and then you push the button and then pull the handle back, and the uh, mower is going to start. It will not run unless you've done all of those items. Uh, you can change the configuration just by pulling these clamps back, re-snapping them, and then this handle here. You can squeeze it and it will roll forward. As you can see, it's got a couple stop positions. That's one stop position. Pull the handle back again and it will go all the way over to where it meets the mower. And then you can jiggle it or lock. Now what's cool about that is one, this is a pretty compact storage unit without having to mess with the handle. The other thing, I haven't done this yet, so we'll see how it works is now you can grab this handle underneath and you can stand this mower up and you can store the mower just like that. Also very handy for cleaning the mower. In reference to the uh, mulching attachment, this mower's got three configurations. It does have a, um, a bag. I don't bag my grass normally, but it does come with a bag attachment. It also comes with a side discharge attachment that just fits right in this hole and curves around and discharges out to the side. Or your third option is a conversion for a, uh, a mulcher, which this comes with it also, and it's easy as, which is, this is really handy, by the way, for pulling it out and cleaning it. It's really easy to clean. And then you just take it, you shove it back in and let the door shut. And it's back to uh, mulching more. It uh, has larger rear wheels and front wheels, so it does uh, spin relatively easy on its axis. Um, it does have indicator lights in the back for, it's like status lights to let you know if the mower's running. Uh, it will also let you know if the battery's starting to get low. And something else I haven't tried before that we're gonna do right now. Let's see if it works. Look at that. <laughs> what 
what was the last time you had a lawnmower with headlights? I don't know how that affects the battery life, but it's a, uh, it's still pretty cool. Okay, so just to run down a uh, couple of the characteristics of the mower, make sure that we touch those points. It is a 21, 21 inch deck. It does have larger rear wheels. Uh, it has a folding handle, a collapsible handle. You can store it upright. It is electric. Uh, it's got a bagger, a mulcher, and a side discharge attachment to it. Uh, it has a 45 minute run time, which I just mowed with it, and it certainly accomplished that just fine. <laughs> That's what happens when you have a dog and you're trying to film inside. Uh, it's guaranteed by the manufacturer to equal a gas mower of the same style. And it does come with a five year warranty. All right. Uh, why did I buy an electric mower? Well, I didn't have a mower actually. I had someone that cut my grass for the last couple of years. Uh, with the current situation going on, I thought it was more economical for me to do it myself. And it was probably not a bad idea for me to get out a little bit and do it. But I like the idea of not having to mess with the gas, mess with the oil, oil changes, spark plug changes, servicing, filter, all those other things you have to do with, an elect with a gas mower. I like the idea of just going out, throwing the battery in there and getting it done. I do like the idea that the mower has other components that you can use the same battery for. Uh, so generally, as far as an electric motor is concerned, I mean, an electric mower is concerned, uh, that's the reason I went this route. As far as this specific lawnmower, because this isn't a review generally of this particular brand and model of lawnmower, I'm not sure how much different it is than some of the other mowers that were out there. Uh, I picked this one because it was one of the less expensive ones and it was pretty equivalent in price to a decent size lawnmower. This mower was $400. Uh, of course, I got my 10% military discount from being retired army. Uh, I like the idea of the compactness, the storability, things of that nature. And I just thought I'd try something new. Try to get into that a little electrical niche thing again. Don't get me wrong. Uh, obviously, I'm still a fan of gas motors and I don't see myself straying from them anytime soon on the automotive side of it. But I believe that this was a good buy. Uh, my first impressions... It mowed just like a regular mower. It was quieter. The mower's a little lighter for uh, because it's not self-propelled uh, as far as a regular, regular push mower is concerned. This mower seemed a little easier to push. I did row it, uh, mow it through some particularly thick grass. It just chomped through there uh, like it was no issue. It mulched just fine. The mower never bogs down like a gas mower might. Uh, so that was good to know. I don't know, it was, it was just a regular, non-eventful mowing experience. It wasn't like really, I thought there was going to be something going on. Uh, so that's my initial impression of this electric mower. As far as what I think about it, the build quality and all, I don't know. I guess time will tell. There's a lot of plastic components in here, but they may be making it better than they used to. I had issues with all my mowers with wheel, having to replace wheels and blades and all those type of things. And I'm pretty sure that that'll come along with this too. I do like the fact that the, the battery is removable and replaceable. So when the battery does start to work down over time, I hopefully can just go buy another battery and drop it in and get back to mowing. All right. Well, guys, I hope that was helpful. Uh, let me know what your thoughts. Would you consider an electric mower? Did you consider it before? Would you consider it now after the uh, video? Do you have an electric mower now? And what has been your experience with it? Especially as far as longevity is concerned. How long is this mower going to last? I don't know. Uh, but uh, yeah, let us know what you think in the comments. And we appreciate you watching the Full Octane Garage. If you haven't already, please subscribe down below. Click the notification button so you get notifications of future videos. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram primarily. We're also on TikTok and uh, a little bit on Twitter. We don't really understand Twitter all that well. But, uh, yeah, thanks for joining us at the Full Octane Garage. We'll see you soon.